All right. And here we go with Resident Evil 7 beginning hour. Um, I played this once before uh, when there was only like the first two or three endings where you couldn't get out. So I'm going to play them again before I start actually playing Resident Evil 7. Jesus. Cats just scared me. Get out of the house. <sighs> so it said this is the midnight version. Um, so I think that... Uh, we're gonna... I think I still have to go through the old things first. Like the original couple of endings. Mm, okay. Stand up. I forget how uh, just a little bit janky the controls are here. But. Whew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Still super duper creepy. <laughs> I shall dash them against the stones. Neat. Okay. I will soon. Maybe. <gasps> this actually doesn't get less creepy. My frame rate's dragging a little bit. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, looks like my... Yeah, I think my frame rate is... I don't know if that's the game or not. Maybe... It should all be good. Let's go 90. I don't know what that does, but... Let's try 60.
Ooh, that's even worse. Just put it on 30. There we go. Okay. Eh, it's a little bit laggy, but... Eh, whatever. Jeez, I just remember that, like, that door can open at some point. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I've played this before, and I'm all, I'm still super freaked out. I think that's the sign of a really good, well done game, honestly. Oh shit. <sighs> I wish this moved better. I can't believe the frame rate's kinda kinda freaking out. me like messing with that box. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this before, but <laughs> I can't believe I'm still freaked out by this to be perfectly honest. Yeah, neat. Oh shit. <laughs> oh gosh. if I'm actually <laughs> like Silent Hills was super scary and uh, like to me and it's creepy every single time and um, this one's doing a pretty good job of trying to do the same thing even with the uh, messed up um oh Jesus okay I'm just gonna go back in here that's fine this guy give me a break Pete hey I only work with professionals speaking of which make sure the sound is right this time I don't want to repeat of Amarillo that was two fucking years ago I don't do ADR this new guy I'm not feeling it again just don't be surprised if we have to make a change dudes I'm right here Good plan if we do a walk through the inside first then we shoot the intro just like we always do just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. I never saw the girl out there either. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. 
It's locked. Ugh. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sound. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? I'm gonna say that my name isn't Clancy. And this guy's a douche. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I should have left. Ooh. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Andre? Where the fuck is he? Andre, where are you, man? No? Okay. What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Sure. Kind of a neat way to uh, uh, teach you the controls. To because <sighs> normally you wouldn't do like the right stick or knowing to pull that lever until later. I think that's just like I think that's neat. You first need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Yeah, hero so, shot. Uh, Let's go with that. You first. Coming? Hero shot or whatever? No?
<laughs> oh, we're not welcomed to the family yet. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I forgot how goddamn creepy this is. Isn't that guy supposed to go walking past? <sighs> Alright. Oh my gosh. I think I even can. I think this is gonna. Welcome to the family, son. Upstairs. No. There's something. Because I picked the key up from back here. Oh, that was the lock pick. Hmm. Oh, I gotta go back in that room. That's why that dude didn't go walking by. Uh, not interested, not interested. <laughs> How am I gonna do in the real game? <laughs> Door key. Okay. So, I guess since I'm here, I'll just do the back door. <laughs> yeah, whatever can be learned from PT is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually still really creepy. Um, yeah. Everything that can be learned from what PT did. Oh, sh <laughs> Jesus. Uh, PT did so much right when it came to uh, horror. And I think this took a lot of the really good cues from it. Am I going to be welcome to the family? <laughs> Run! Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I think... I'll do the one upstairs. Next. Still. <sighs> The kitties are making noise again. We gotta get the hell out of here. Come on.
Bad ending. Welcome to the family. <laughs> well, of course it's the bad ending. I didn't get out. Join the Resident Evil Ambassador program. Hashtag RE7. Okay. Bad ending. <laughs> so I'm going to do one other since this is the midnight version, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ending, um, and then, uh, it's getting late and I'm getting a little tired, so I'll probably do, uh, the other endings tomorrow, and then, uh, sometime this weekend, start Resident Evil 7.